a well-wisher gave Prince Harry a trip down memory lane during his Bristol visit today, where he was shown a picture of Princess Diana from when she visited Bristol 25 years ago. Prince Harry remarked I love that, while looking down at the picture, as the royal fan promised to send him the photo by post. In the moving footage, the well-wisher calls Prince Harry over by saying, Harry, I've got a picture of your mum. Your mum visited Bristol 25 years ago, and my mum was so excited to meet her, she wouldn't let go of the flowers. Princess Diana had a sixth sense, how Princess of Wales became. Meghan Markle, Duchess receives rock star welcome, while looking down at the picture, Prince Harry commented, I love that. I recognize everybody in that photo. The royal well-wisher gave a warm smile in response and said, I'll get some scent and post it to you. Prince Harry then asked, where was this? The woman replied, Thornberry, Bristol, 94. Prince Harry, who appeared to be in a hurry, then said, I love that. Look after those very nice to meet you. Bye guys. Pregnant Meghan Markle and Prince Harry traveled to Bristol on Friday for a day of royal engagements, including a visit to the Old Vic Theatre. Wintry conditions meant the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's arrival was delayed by 20 minutes. But royal fans braved the snow to catch a glimpse of the couple outside the theatre, including a group of adorable youngsters from Abbey Wood Tots Nursery. Meghan showed she is very British now as she chatted to royal well-wishers, commenting on the weather and adding, I hope everyone gets a nice cup of tea after this. And the 37-year-old thanked royal fans for waiting to greet them, saying, thank you for waiting so long to say hi, our train was a little bit delayed, but we tried our best to get here fast. The 37-year-old wore her hair down, and she carried a pair of long beige gloves and a small clutch bag. Once inside the theater, the royal couple practiced their parenting skills as they met three-year-old Ocean John, whose mother, Sally Cordwell, is the theater's executive director. The royal couple toured the historic venue, which was built in 1766 and is the oldest working theater in the English-speaking world. And they unveiled a plaque marking their visit and the official opening of the theater's £2 million redevelopment. It has been a busy week for Meghan, who is due to give birth at the end of April or early May. The Duchess of Sussex also attended City, University of London, on Thursday to meet students and academics from the Association of Commonwealth Universities, one of her four royal patronages. And on Wednesday, Meghan stepped out to visit the National Theatre as she made her first official visit to the institution since becoming its patron. Meghan visited her other royal patronages Animal Charity Mayhew and Women's Charity Smart Works earlier in January, 